I promise you it's a different day. I'm just using the same shirt and my hair is also in a braid because my hair looks bad again. MCO life. <laughs> See MCO. Hi. And also MCO got me needing to shave this. Look at this. I have to shave this whole side again. I It got long and then I like cut it myself because I don't have a shaving thing but we need to shave it soon. <laughs> so I got the inspiration for this video from yesterday. Not from the video yesterday. By the way, the video that I filmed before this is filmed yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And I got the inspiration from... So in my last video, which is this, I made some... I made some. I made a bracelet. And yeah, that's this video right here. And then at night, I made some other bracelets while watching YouTube. It is actually so relaxing. Like, come on, do this guys. It's actually so fun. This is the bracelet that I made in the last video. It says Audrey. And then at night, while watching YouTube, more specifically watching Exotic, <laughs> I like to promote the, the channels that I watch, okay? I made some other ones. I made three. This one is uh, for my twin who lives like halfway across the world. Where is Europe? I don't know where is Europe. Okay, never mind. Ha Let's just say halfway across the world. I'll show you clearly later. But basically, that's this one. And then I made another one too for my best friend. So this is the one that I made in the previous video. It is a bit small. It's been a very long time since I made bracelets. So I forgot like, you're supposed to not cut the string. Chun chun, you know. So it is a bit small but her hand is small so it's okay. And then this one is for my twin. It says Elisa. Which fun fact is also the name of my guitar right there. I named my guitar after her. So this is Elisa or Ellie. So cute. Isn't that just so cute? Look at the little star. So cute. And then these two is for my best friend. I got a bit smarter so it actually, actually fits. It's not that small. And this one is the most perfect fit. Because like by that time I already mastered the length of the string. <laughs> so yeah. These two is for my best friend. And the bracelet that I made that inspired this video is this bracelet. So I made all of this last night and then I was looking at this one. Now this one, I know for you it's the ballet. I'm so lazy to flip the camera guys. I mean flip the screen. So I know for you it's like, I don't know, Ikol, but it actually says Loki. Okay? And I made that because my best friend's like favourite character in the Marvel is Loki. For those of you who don't watch Marvel, I mean all of you watch Marvel, everyone kill Marvel, I know. So you all know who is Loki, right? The God of Mischief. And then that's what inspired this video. Because I was thinking about it, like, huh, it's so weird how as a kid, I had such a one-dimensional view on people. And I know that's such a like random thing to say, like what do you mean you had a one-dimensional view on people? So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video and I will be making another bracelet while I talk to you now that I'm a bit of a pro. You get to after like four bracelets. I'll be making this one for another friend and... Eh, where's the... dog? Okay. <laughs> and the name on the string, I mean the name on the bracelet will be Tika. P-I-K-A because that is the name of her dog. And what is more appropriate than me giving her a bracelet with the name of her beloved dog? <laughs> so let's do that. There we go. Always long for safety. So a few nights ago, I think two nights ago, which is another thing that kind of inspired this video. So this Loki bracelet and this thing is what inspired this video. Basically, like I think two nights ago, my friend uh, started randomly she started talking about how she realized that the characters in the MCU <laughs> I didn't mean for the MCU to be part of this video but okay <laughs> and she she said that she understand she now she understands the things they did like I don't know like stuff like she understands why Tony and Steve Gado it's something like that like basically we, we were discussing how like so, how flawed some of the characters are and that's actually interesting so that's what kind of inspired this video because I was thinking about that and I was looking at that Loki bracelet and I realised I remember when I was very small uh, in 2012 I was 10 years old I think and I remember watching that uh, The Avengers movie the first Avengers movie in theatre I watched it with my my mother and my brother we used to always go watch movie together last time and we watched that Avengers movie and at that time I did not know what was going on I, I mean like I knew Iron Man but I didn't know the rest. <laughs> but by the way, the Avengers 
was probably like one of the only movies that I watched as a kid that I actually watched the whole thing. I don't remember sleeping in a movie because I always used to sleep during movies. I remember like <laughs> my family used to joke that it's actually a waste for me to go watch movies because it's true. I, just, I was just like to tido, you know, as a kid. And <laughs> like, I remember I tido during Transformers 3. I don't know, some other movies also. But I don't think I tido most of the Avengers. I was so shook by it, you know. I was, <laughs> all my focus is on it. I really did enjoy that movie even though I didn't know what's going on. Like, no idea. I mean, like, okay, so like, I kind of got it. But, like, I didn't really know ev everyone. Like, I knew Iron Man. Like, I've heard of Iron Man. Because my mom also like Iron Man. I also put watch the Iron Man movie last time. But I didn't know the rest. Like, who's this guy with the shield? Who's this guy with the hammer? I don't know. You know, I never, I didn't watch the other movies before that. If you get what I mean. I only knew Iron Man. I didn't know Captain America. I didn't know Thor. Black Widow, whoever. Legit, my introduction to them is through the Avengers movie and I love that movie like I really did like I said it's one of the like the only movie I watched as a kid that I didn't sleep through okay wait I need to spell Tika wait I need to focus okay I got an A <laughs> I got a T where's my I I got an I I need my K where's my K Finding stuff in this is like needle in the haystack, you know. Wait, where's my K? Oh, found the K. Let's spell Tika. I got it. So anyway, going back to Avengers. I remember I didn't really know what's going on in the movie. I don't know what is shield. Like I said, most of the stuff, like the MCU stuff at that time, I got introduced through that movie. But I remember I really enjoyed it and I kinda got it. And I got that they're all they're all called the Avengers. And they're all fighting this guy called Loki. That's what I understood while watching that movie. So my understanding at that time was Loki is the bad guy. Okay? So keep this in mind. All I knew about Loki is that that time is what he he I don't think he, I knew no, 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 I think I knew he was Thor's brother. I think, I, yeah, I knew. But that's it. And he's a bad guy. I didn't even know that some of the Avengers were not human. <laughs> I didn't know about Captain America and the ice. I didn't know Thor is a god. I legit didn't know all that. I thought they were all human. But basically, I got the idea that they're all good. These All these guys are good and I support them. And they're all against this guy called Loki. So we need to kalahkan this guy. Loki. And then after that, I don't know when, but I remember as a kid, also I watched the movie Thor and that's when I found out, oh, Loki's adopted. <laughs> but I, for many years, I still like, I wasn't like super into MCU or whatever, but anytime like I saw a movie or whatever, I just always knew that there was a good side and a bad side. And so like the good side, for example, the Avengers movie, the good side was always the Avengers and the shield and whatever. And then the bad side is like someone like Loki. And that's just how I viewed them. You know, I never, like I knew Loki was adopted. But as a kid, I didn't really register that. And I didn't really think about his, about like anyone's story, really. And I just knew, oh, this is good, this is bad. This is a bad person, therefore I don't like them. And yeah. And in a way, I guess that's also how I viewed people as a kid. Because I remember as a kid, I think anyone, we didn't really think much as a kid, right? We just have an opinion and we just say it. And if we think someone is bad, then they're bad. <laughs> and, you know, that's the same thing with real life also as a kid. Like, I remember me and my friends, we used to talk bad with each other about another friend because we didn't like what they did. But we never once considered why they did it. We never once considered what was their intention and just things like that. And it's so different from the way I am now. You know, growing up, I now I know how to understand people. Now I know that everyone has a story. Now I know that everyone has a reason for what they do. And now I see people more in like a three-dimensional way. You know, I don't simply judge. I don't simply think bad about someone just because of something they did. Now I think like, oh, they did something bad. Why did they do that? You know, and that's what growing up does to you, I guess. You just learn to see people in different perspectives. You see them like, oh, if, like, why did they do that? Why would they do that? Is there something from their past? You know? And 
I see that now with me also and writing my stories because I'm gonna be a filmmaker. My characters are also three-dimensional. Did I just spit? Because <laughs> I see them that way, so I make them that way also. Like, there is no... In my movies, I don't think there's a solid good or bad person. I mean, there, of course, sometimes there is a good side and a bad side. Like, like you know, like good people and bad people kind of thing. But I always make sure that the good people have flaws also. And the bad people have a reason for what they do. Now, that, is, that doesn't mean that I condone <laughs> what they do. Just because I have learned to understand now, doesn't mean I condone, you know, like, like my characters. Okay, let's, for example, let's just take Loki, okay? Because he's like a villain, like a famous villain. Just because I've learned to understand, oh, okay, like, okay, he has a story kind of thing. Doesn't mean I condone what he, like, killing people, you know? That, but I understand. You know, there's a difference between just simply judging and understanding like, oh, this is, this person has a story kind of thing. So yeah, basically when I was a kid, I only saw someone for what I saw, if you get what I mean. Like if I saw something they did that I didn't like, then it's like, oh, I don't like this person. This person is not good, you know. And I think that's what we all did as a kid. I don't think we realized that that wasn't good, but that's what we did, you know, because as a kid, we didn't really understand that we all have a story and I mean we didn't think about anything you know and that's why as a kid also I didn't realize that you know even movie characters have a story and and at that time I always thought that you know a good person everything they do is good and a bad person everything they do is bad but now I understand you know and I've come to appreciate when good characters in movies have flaws and that's why I love now I can see that this person is not perfect this person makes mistakes this person makes me mad sometimes it's the same with the characters in my movies also if you watch Unbound which is my movie next time you might get mad at the main character because I also didn't like her that much while I was writing the story but that that's what makes her real you know that's what makes anyone real you will never find a good person who is good all the time you know and yeah i mean there are people who are better you know there are people who are kinder than other people and stuff like that like i acknowledge that there are actually people who are more decent than other people but the point is that everyone has flaws you know everyone and i love how that is being shown in movies also which i didn't see as a kid but now i've come to see that i think if i was a kid and i realized the mistakes that the good characters made in movies i would be so shook but now that i'm like more grown up not to say I'm grown up, I'm so young, but <laughs> like a bit more mentally capable of thinking and understanding. I've come to appreciate when good characters in movies have flaws or so. I've also come to appreciate when the bad characters in movies have stories. Like I say, I don't condone what they do if, it, if they do something evil. But, you know, I can kind of like, in a way... Just understand. Not necessarily sympathize. Sympathize if you're a bad person and you do bad things. I do not sympathize with you, but I can get this story, and I feel like that's something that most of us don't do. We don't bother to get any kind of story from each other. We just see each other as these beings that coexist together. But we don't really see each other as people who have a story, people who have something to say, people who have feelings, and I think that's why we we tend to see each other one-dimensionally also you know you see someone and that's all you see of them but there's actually a lot more to that person than than you know you know and that's why i don't i really hate gossip i hate to hear gossip i hate to do I, the last time i gossip like talk bad with my friends about another friend was probably like many years ago like in school you know i don't do that anymore first of all because it's very unbiblical <laughs> Because <laughs> eh, Bible says gossips are idle, right? But also because there's really no uh, function to that. There's no nothing good can come out of that, and really, doing that just it doesn't help you understand anyone at all because you're just forming your opinion on them based on something they did or maybe something that they did repeatedly, and you garam. But there is always uh, a story to that person. And if you just bother to find out, you could probably understand. But I feel like that's the problem with most of us. We just judge, you know. We just like, oh, you did that. I don't like you. You know, that's not good. That's really not good because how are we supposed to develop our 
I don't know, emotional bonding, <laughs> what am I saying? I just feel like if you all learn to understand each other a little bit more, not necessarily like each other, like everything about each other, because you can never find someone who you love everything about. So if someone says that I love everything about you, they're lying, okay? Get away from the person, it's a red flag in your relationship, I guess. I don't know anything. <laughs> but I mean, it's true, kan? Okay? You can never love everything about someone, you know? Couples still fight. They may have been together 60 years, but they still fight sometimes, you know? They still disagree. Because there will always be something about someone that annoys you or that irks you, you know? We can never ever find someone in this world who you truly love everything about because there is no one in this world that has something, I mean, that is full of things to be loved about and no flaws at all because and to be honest, even if there was that person, I don't think anyone would appreciate them because, I mean, Jesus was that person. He had no flaws. He was perfect. But did everyone like him? Still no. The point is that my view of people changed from when I was a kid, like a small kid. <laughs> I'm a big kid now. And it changed, you know. My view of people changed from then until now. And I'm really happy it did because, like I said, it, it, it makes me understand. It makes me appreciate, you know. And I, it doesn't feel weird when the good character or the person you're rooting for in a movie makes a mistake because that's you too. You make mistakes, you know. They make a rash decisions sometimes, stupid decisions. And sometimes you just feel kind of good up also when you watch a movie. But then, that's you <laughs> sometimes. You make stupid decisions. Some of you are, me also lah, me also. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> All of us, <sighs> yeah, the stuff we do sometimes, you know. But that's human. That's what makes us human. That's why I love when the characters portrayed are not perfect. The younger me would not understand. But me now does, you know. I totally understand now when they make mistakes. I understand when they have stupid priorities. Like if you watch Breaking Bad, I remember a few times I was like, Walter, if you never got involved in this whole drug thing, your family would still be together. You would still have a perfect family, you know. But to some extent, like, I understand Walter just, he felt like that was the thing to do, to leave some money for his family. But things got out of control. You know, things didn't go as perfectly, I guess. And everything just fell apart and he lost his family in the end. And all of that would have happened if he just didn't go into the whole math thing. But I understand why he did. And younger me wouldn't. <laughs> younger me would be like, you're so stupid, why you want to do that drug thing, you know? But 19 year old, or 18 year old, I don't think 19 in December, okay? 18 year old me understands because I've made decisions like that too in my life where I look back and I'm like, why did I do that? But I also, to I kind of understand because sometimes in life, you feel like there's no other way or you feel like this is the only thing you can do when there's actually other things you can do but as a human, being the humans that we are, we don't really think through everything that we do. And sometimes we're just blinded by hurt. Some people do things out of hurt. Some people do things out of jealousy. Which is not good. I'm not saying it's good, but it's human. And it's kind of comforting to know that everyone does this. Everyone makes stupid decisions. Everyone has done things in their life that if they could turn the time around, they would change. But to be honest, I think if we all could turn time around, we would still do the same things. You know why? Because we would still be as dumb, you know? Maybe a bit smarter, but still dumb, you know? We would not make the same mistake, maybe we would make another mistake somewhere else in our life. And that's okay. So yeah, now I've learned to see people as more than just what I see. You know, when I see you, yes, you may have done something that I don't like, necessarily but there's other sides of you that I don't know yet if I got to know you more I would love to and, and to know you more I need to not judge you straight away I need to find out your story I need to talk to you and that's something that's changed since I was a kid when I was a kid I'll be like I don't like that girl because she was showing me to me <laughs> you know and then now it will be like why was she mean to me you know why I want to find out I want to talk to her Maybe it was some past hurt. Maybe it was something someone did to her. Maybe she just needs someone to talk to and she doesn't know how to show it, you know? And I feel like we need that because we are all just people, we're all just creatures who just have a lot to say. A lot, a lot to say inside. I've mentioned this in a pre previous video about how I'm amazed 
at how we humans are, are capable of feeling so many feelings. We have so many things we can express. We are such expressive <laughs> expressive creatures, you know, we can feel sad, we can feel angry, we can feel anxious and all of that. But we express like this much. 90% we keep to ourselves, you know, you realize that or not. 90% of the stuff that you feel every day, just keep it to yourself. And then you only show like 10%. And that 10% also is usually a lie, again. Someone asks you, are you are you okay? You're like, I'm okay. But like, you're only okay like 50%. Now the 50% is I'm not okay, but you, you, say, you say you're okay. Which actually inspired another movie of mine that I'm gonna write soon <laughs> about the whole feelings thing. Hashtag valid. Please watch it next time. And we all just got to see each other in this way. How would we communicate with each other? Would we start communicating with each other, you know? Because I feel like most of us, we don't communicate with each other. I mean, we do to some extent. I mean, okay, we talk to each other, but we don't communicate. You know, we talk to each other. There's, I think there's a difference between talking and communicating. Because you can talk a lot and not say anything. You can talk about your day and not reveal anything about what you went through in your day. You know, and I feel like that's what we're missing. And I'm guilty of this too. I don't talk about my feelings at all with anyone. You know, with anyone. So I'm guilty of this too, and we all are guilty of this. It's just, you know, we humans, we can't say so much, but we choose to be quiet. We choose to only say what will protect us, because we're scared to show how, who we are and how we actually feel. And there's just so much we keep inside because we feel like it's very scary to let it all out and it is very 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 scary i understand so that's why we just keep quiet that's why i think the human race is actually quite quiet even though it's a very busy world it's very noisy you know it is very noisy you look outside and it's not here <laughs> not here this is a taman perumahan but you know you look at the whole world you put on the tv everyone's talking everyone's excited everyone's this everyone's that it's very hectic world is very noisy how much is being said every single person you see on tv has a story you know that actor that you're watching in that movie they woke up that that morning how was the day it's not a thing about that you know like you ever wonder how someone's day is like is it the same as yours like how do they wake up do they drink coffee rather than wake up? I mean, I'm not saying I'm trying to stalk them lah, but like sometimes I watch a movie and I'm like, this actor has a story, you know? Maybe last night he tried to memorize a script, I don't know. You know, you ever think how long actors have to memorize a script? I don't know, maybe they, maybe he had to do that take so many times and he's stressed, but it doesn't show in that scene. All you see in that scene is the edited and the cinematic version, but you don't see anything else, you know? And that's also very interesting and very complicated because that character that they're playing has a story and then the actor themselves also has a story. Wow. Yeah, sometimes I just wonder if we could just look inside someone's life, like every single person's life, what will we see? Will we like it? Probably not. Right? I don't think we would like it if we saw every part of someone's life. I think I mentioned that in a previous video also because it's true. Because we think we want to know everything about each other, but if we actually knew everything about each other, you would hate each other. If you if you knew every single, every single thing without me, with no filter, if my whole life, and if all the thoughts, and everything I said, throughout my life, played before you, like a movie, you would be disgusted with me. You would un unsubscribe. I don't think you'll subscribe anyway, but <laughs> you would stop watching this video. You would, I don't know. You would hate me. Because it's true, like we think we want to know everything about each other, but actually, if we did know everything about each other, we would be disgusted. And I feel like that's also a nice mystery, you know, to know that you don't know everything about someone. Makes it kind of mysterious, but it also makes it kind of sad because it would be nice to communicate more and, and, and know more about each other and try to know everything, but also to know everything is also dangerous. And, and also, I guess that's why we keep stuff inside because we know that not everything inside us looks pretty, you know? There's a lot of ugly stuff inside and that's why we don't let it out. So in a way, I'm relieved that we don't know everything about everyone but also, like, I wish we would communicate more and know more about each other, you know? Yeah. And I guess what is the closing point of this video? I don't know, like, everyone has a story, everyone has a reason for what they do, and maybe we should all just stop looking at what we see 
and start looking at what we don't see and not be so like judgmental of someone and try to understand that person as a fellow human being and not just a living creature that is like a side character in your life because I feel like that's how we see each other all the time like we're just we're just there like you I'm here you're there kind of thing we don't really see each other as living breathing creatures with a story and I wish we did because that would be very good <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna go now. I think I said everything I want to say. I don't even know what to title this video. I don't even know what this video was. It was just like random thoughts, like everything else on this channel. Anyway, I upload every single Saturday and sometimes multiple times in the week. So you can come back anytime you want. Comment on your thoughts down below. On this channel, I don't even know what I upload. A lot of, a lot of stuff. A lot of live talks, especially because, especially in MCO, you know, I, 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 I think more than usual. So that's what comes out on this channel and also in my movies that I'm writing, which please watch next time. Anyway, yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.